Dzień dobry, welcome to the channel. My name's Rob. I have been learning about Poland for a while now, and that includes visiting Poland and even learning the Polish language. So I found a video with 44 facts about Poland, and I'm going to see how many of them I already know from what I've learned. Enjoy the video, guys. And welcome back to another exciting video on Europe in Detail. This time, we're setting off to explore the magical realms of Poland, a nation famous for its mighty castles, treasured history, and the awe-inspiring Tatra Mountains. But we won't just be skimming the surface. Nope, we're going far beyond just strolling through Warsaw's charming old town or admiring the peaceful beauty of Zakopane. Zakopane. Anyway, um, I think what I'm going to try and do is I'm, I'm going to see how much I now know Maybe compared to before, because maybe I didn't know a lot about Poland before I started learning about it on my YouTube channel here. But I will also try my best to correct any mispronunciations of words that I think we're going to find in here. Today, we're getting to know Poland from the inside out with 44 interesting facts. So get ready and dive right in. Number one, Poland has an incredibly diverse landscape. It's one of the few countries that can show off by having both beautiful coastal beaches along True. the Baltic Sea and magnificent snow-covered peaks in the Tatra Mountains. Number Straight away, that I know that now. Um, before I learned about Poland, you think it is um, quite war-torn. It's mainly just cities and villages. And actually, now that I know that there are lovely beaches, you know, up, up Sop Sopot, Gdansk, that sort of area up by the Baltic... Um, and there are the mountains. You've got Zakopane as well, which is it looks absolutely beautiful as well. So there really is a wide variety of different environments to explore. Two, the vibrant city of Warsaw is known as the Phoenix City because it has survived so many wars throughout history. Despite severe destruction in World War II, the city was meticulously rebuilt, rising from the ashes just like the mythical Phoenix. Okay, I... <sighs> I think I know it. they call it the Phoenix City because Warsaw or Warsaw, Warsaw um, was, well, yeah, absolutely destroyed. And it's incredible that they did their best to rebuild it in a way that was quite accurate to what it was before. Um, and so you're not necessarily seeing what it used to be like before the war, but it's a fairly good representation with obviously all the modern buildings of today. Number three. Did you know that Poland is home to the world's largest sculpture of Jesus Christ? I did not. The statue of Christ the King in Zwiebodzen stands taller than the famous Christ the Redeemer oh. in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. With the crown included, the Polish statue measures 118 feet tall. A truly divine sight, don't you think? Number I four. did not know that. The name Poland originates from the tribe Polani, which means people living in open fields. It's indeed a fitting name for a country that has such vast and beautiful plains. That is two in a row I did not know. I did not know there is a huge Jesus Christ statue, bigger than Christ the Redeemer in Brazil. I didn't even know that. How have I not known that? Known that? Um, and uh, I didn't know about the name of Poland comes from, the translation is open fields. Interesting. I am learning something new. Number five. Did you know that Poles have their own version of Fat Thursday? Tlusti Kvartek is a way where Poles indulge in eating donuts or paczki. Millions of these sweet delights are consumed across the country on this day. I love Number a paczki. Six, Polish, known as Polski, is spoken by approximately 40 million people in the world. The language has a reputation for being one of the most difficult for English speakers to learn due to its complex grammar and pronunciation. So... I can only talk about me learning and I'm learning because I want to. I'm not learning out of necessity. You know, some people move to Poland and you have to learn the language. Um, and I've met people along the way on my journey exploring Poland that have had to learn Polish. Now, because I'm doing it to enjoy it, uh, maybe I'm getting a slightly different experience. What I found so far is mostly it's quite simple to pronounce words. And yes, I still sometimes get it wrong because it's a sometimes it's almost a tongue twister in itself. But all the letters, most of the time, sound the same. Whereas in English, the letter A is a A, A, 
it, there's different sounds depending on the word it's in. Um, however, getting to use, getting used to things like the grammar, obviously the male and feminine versions of different words, that may take a bit of time getting used to. Do I think it's the, the hardest language in the world? Or oh, no, no, I don't. Probably not. And I'm not very good at learning languages. I gave up Italian at school. Number seven. Polish cuisine is hearty and rich in meat, vegetables, and herbs. Poland herbs. is famous for its sausages, especially the kielbasa and the beloved pierogi, a type of dumpling filled with various ingredients. That is not a pierogi. That is not a pierogi. That is a... That is like dim sum. <laughs> That's Asian, not Polish. What <laughs> dodgy image. Um, but yes, um, Poles love their pierogi. Uh, I love kielbasa. Whoa, oh, it's delicious. It's delicious. Number eight. Poland is home to one of the world's oldest salt mines. Been there. The Wilichka salt mine. It's so old, in fact, it has been producing table salt since the 13th century and is now considered a UNESCO World Heritage Site. An awesome place. It's just outside of uh, Krakow. Um, it is an incredible place to go and visit the salt mines. Um, it's surprisingly clean and just the, the decorations is incredible. And it's got all the churches in as well, which I just think is awesome how they've made it. Um, now, we did actually go to Krakow and film our vlog. So make sure you go to Charlie and Rob or charlieandrob.com to see those vlogs because we've got a few from Poland already. Number nine, the Poles love their forests. In fact, over 30% of the country is covered Ooh. by forest. It's no wonder that Poland is home to Europe's last and largest remaining parts of the primeval forest, the Bielowiza Forest. Number I didn't know Poland was covered in so much forest. I know most places have got a lot of forest, but 30% is a lot. Um, it is a lot of forest. I didn't realize Poland was as green as that. Number 10. Poland, as of the most recent United Nations estimates, has a population of approximately 41.48 million people. The capital city, Warsaw, alone is home to 1.8 million residents. Number 11. A unique Polish tradition is Andrzejski, or St. Andrew's Day, celebrated on the night of November 29th, involving fortune-telling games, especially for young women seeking to predict when and whom they will marry. St. Andrew's Day. I know Scotland has St. Andrew's Day because isn't isn't St. Andrew the patron saint of Scotland or something like that? What link has has St. Andrew got to do with Poland, though? I you'll have to tell you've got to tell me now in the comments. Um, but that I, t I well, from what he just said about women trying to work out when they're going to have all this relationshipy type stuff. That actually sounds quite a lot like Polish women. Um, quite um, what is the word? Um, have their beliefs and their why have I forgotten it uh anyway you know what I mean they believe in certain things and superstitions there you go number 12 Poland is a parliamentary republic which means the president is the head of state and the prime minister is the head of government the Polish same a component of the parliament has been in existence since the 15th century making it one of the oldest parliamentary institutions in the world I do not understand the Polish Parliament. Like, I think the UK Parliament is quite simple. Um, it's quite simple. You know, we've got the King, who obviously is is up there, you know, he can't really be changed. And then people vote on a party, and the leader of the party that gets voted for is the Prime Minister. I don't really understand the Polish one, to be honest. Number 13. The beauty of Poland's landscapes is complemented by its diverse wildlife, Poland is home to the European bison, a species that was brought back from the brink of extinction and can now be found in the Białowieża forest. Number 14, Poland's Wawel Castle, a beautiful architectural Bawel. gem in Krakow, is Krakow. a symbol of national pride and was the residence of the kings of Poland. Number 15, I knew that. the Polish flag is composed of two horizontal stripes of equal width, the upper one white and the lower one red. These colors, officially adopted in 1831, are of heraldic origin and represent the two national colors. Number 16. Poland is known for its love of vodka, and the tradition of vodka production dates back over 500 years. A typical Polish toast is nadzrowy, which means to health. I would always say nastrowia. 
What's Nostrovia then? I thought Nostrovia is like cheers. It's like the equivalent of us English people saying cheers. That's I'm de- definitely when I was drinking in Krakow years ago, it was Nostrovia. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong. I, I don't like being wrong, so you need to help me out if I am wrong. Number 17. The Polish Zloty is the currency Zloty. of Poland. The word Zloty is a golden Slavic word meaning golden. It just sums up some of these pronunciations. It does sum up how how little people understand the Polish language because obviously the L with the line is a W sound. And people do not get it right, do they? They do not get it right at all. Number 18. Poles have a unique tradition called Wiglia, celebrated on Christmas Eve. An extra plate and seat are always left empty in case a wanderer or even a spirit stops by in need of solace. Number 19. I didn't know that. Poland is famous for producing some of the world's best and most popular video games. Companies like CD Projekt, creators of the widely acclaimed Witcher series, are based in Poland. I did know that. I have learned that Poland is becoming a real tech giant in terms of programming, computer games. Um, They are doing very, very well. And I think Poland is a place to go to if that's the sort of occupation you want to get into. I know, for example, that the, the wages aren't necessarily keeping up with the, you know, the cost of living. And that is similar in most countries. It's the same over here. But there's always certain job, um, jobs that are doing well. And IT, and that's a broad spectrum, but IT I know is doing quite well. Number 20. Poland is known for its impressive castles. There yep. are over 500 castles in the country and 2,500 manor houses. Mm. Talk about a land straight out of a fairy tale. Number 21. Poland joined the European Union on May 1, 2004, marking a significant step in its history and signifying the country's economic and political stability. I think that's a really good point. They, you know, some people don't agree with being in the European Union. I am gutted as a, as a Brit to have left it. I think it was a disaster that we left the European Union. Um, it makes life a lot difficult for us. And I think, but I think the Poland being in it, I think is a huge step away from the old Eastern European, you know what I'm talking about. If you're Polish, you know what I'm talking about when I say that, that Eastern European stereotype and um, way of life that it that, that there may used to be. And I think being in the European Union is improving Poland so much and it's going to make it a bigger powerhouse in, in Europe especially. Number 22. Poland has 15 UNESCO World Heritage Sites. These include the historic centers of Warsaw and Krakow, the Auschwitz-Birkenau concentration camp, and the ancient Bielowiza forest. Number 23. Poland loves its apples. In fact, in 2020, Poland was the world's largest exporter of apples, contributing to almost 25% of the global apple exports. Wow. 25% 25% of the global exports of apples have come from Poland. And I must say, I'm a cider drinker. It's got to be apple cider. I like quite a fruity cider, a sweet cider. Um, and Poland does do really good ciders. But I'm surprised with the amount of apple production, cider isn't necessarily a huge drink in Poland. But the cider you have is really, really good. Number 24. Named after astronomer Nikolaus Copernicus, Copernicus. Nikolaus Copernicus University in Torun is one of the most prestigious universities in Poland. It's named after Copernicus, who was born in Torun and was the first person to propose that the Earth was not the center of the universe. Very, very clever man. And and as we've discovered um, through my videos, there are some really, really amazing people that have come out of Poland. So make sure you check some out. Go to my Poland playlist and you will find some. Marie Curie, that's not a Polish name, but yeah, I can't remember. Stavansky, Stavanska, something like that. Um, And there are loads of incredible Poles. Number 25. Poland can proudly claim to be the birthplace of many renowned personalities, including world-changing physicist and chemist Marie Curie, legendary filmmaker Roman Polanski, and Pope John Paul II. Number 26. Did you know Poland has a crooked forest? Yes. This unusual forest consists of about 400 pine trees that grow with a 90-degree bend at the base of their trunks. Why? Number 27. Poland has a rich tradition of music and dance, 
with the Mazurka, Polonaise, and Krakowiak being three of the national dances of Poland. Uh, so we looked at the Mazurka, um, and we've recently looked at the Polonaise, which is an awesome dance. Uh, we saw, uh, I watched a video of them at a high school prom, it just looked fantastic and a really, really cool traditional dance to do on these um, quite formal occasions. Number 28. The Polish Constitution of May 3, 1791 was the first written constitution in Europe and the second mm. in the world, only preceded by the United States Constitution. Interesting. It was a significant achievement in Poland's history and the history of democracy worldwide. Number 29. Poland is the sixth most populated country in the European Union and the ninth largest in Europe by area. Number 30. I wonder if that's changed recently with all the, see, with a lot of Ukrainians moving into Poland, because obviously Poland were really, really good to Ukrainians and obviously a lot moved in. But then Polish people moved to work in other countries. I don't know. Maybe this is different. I'm not sure. 30. Baking bread isn't just a routine in <sighs> Poland. It's an age-old tradition. The bread is incredible in Poland. With pride. So much so that when a bread loaf drops, it is customary to pick it up and kiss it as a sign of respect. Chleb, chleb in Poland is amazing. The baked goods in Poland are amazing. That's all I'm going to say on that subject. Number 31. Can you imagine a desert in the middle of Europe? No. no. Poland is home to one. The Bladau Desert is Central Europe's largest accumulation of loose sand in an area away from any sea spanning over 12 square miles. Number 32. I think I did learn that on a previous video, but I've never actually seen images of it. Let's dive into the culinary marvels of Poland. Ever heard of pierogi? Yes. These delicious stuffed dumplings are a must try. They're so beloved that the city of Krakow even hosts Krakow. an annual pierogi festival. Number 33. I've still, got, I've still got to try sweet pierogi. I really want to try sweet pierogi. When I was in Wrocław, I didn't actually find any, and I was gutted. I just want a sweet pierogi. Is that too hard to ask? The Polish hold a deep reverence for the number three, symbolizing luck and magic. You'll find this love echoed in the structure of the traditional Polish fairy tales, where the rule of three is often applied. Really? Three tasks, three characters, or three goals. Number 34. In the heart of Roklaw City, Oh, Wrocław, Wrocław, not Roklaw. Should we listen to that again just to annoy people? Look, listen to this. Oh, this is painful. Oh, it's Wrocław. Number 34. In the heart of Roklaw City, you'll stumble upon a tiny world of gnome sculptures. With over 350 dwarf statues scattered across the city, the hunt for these charming creatures has become a fun pastime it for is tourists fun. and locals alike. That's painful. Wrocław, not Roklaw. Um, I did a little mini mini vlog on this. See how many dwarfs, gnomes I could find. So go to Charlie and Robin, check it out. Number 35. Did you know that with a history dating back over a thousand years, Krakow is one of Poland's Krakow. oldest cities? Number 36. No, I didn't. The Tatra Mountains in Poland are home to the unique breed of sheepdog known as the Polish Tatra Sheepdog. These dogs were used to protect oh my God. sheep from predators Look how in the cute mountainous they are. region. Number 37. Lak Waleza, the co-founder of the Solidarity Movement in Poland, played a pivotal role in the fall of communism across Eastern Europe. He Hang on. I know he's controversial. I know he's controversial. I know people will say, no, he was just a secret spy for communists. But he's still a part of the getting rid of, of communism, right? I don't think you can... You can't deny that. He was still a figurehead in getting rid of it. He was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1983 and later served as the president of Poland from 1990 to 1995. Number 38. One cannot talk about Poland without mentioning its hearty traditional stew, bigos. This savory dish is a flavorful mix of cabbage, sauerkraut, various meats and spices, often described as Poland's national dish. Well, I actually did it on this channel on Rob Reacts. I tried bigos um over in Wrocław and I just don't like sauerkraut I just don't like sauerkraut what is it with you Poles you love sauerkraut or generalizing obviously um but no I didn't really like it to be honest I don't think it's that nice but it it, it makes sense
Yes. It is a hearty meal, isn't it? It really is a hearty meal. And that sums up a lot of the Polish dishes. They are hearty. They're warming. Um, they're filling. Number 39. Poland is home to 17 Nobel Prize winners, including mm. four Peace Prizes and five Literature Prizes. This country certainly has a wealth of intellect and talent. Yes. Number 40. The world's first oil refinery was built in 1856 by Ignacy Lukasiewicz, a Polish pharmacist and petroleum industry pioneer. Number 41. I did not know that. Poland is a stork's paradise. Nearly a quarter of all white storks in the world nest in Poland during the summer. In fact, the village of Sikowo is known as the European stork capital, hosting about 40 stork pairs per season. That is an interesting... That's a different one. Why do they choose Poland? What is it about Poland that, that makes the storks think, yeah, we're sticking around? That's, that is a new one. That's not, not one I knew of. Number 42. One of the oldest restaurants in Europe is located in Roklaw, Poland. Wrocław. Puwidnika Swidnika. It has been serving customers since 1275. I, that's not one I went to. I went to Spich. 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 Uh, and that was underground, but I didn't go to this one. Ah, oh, that's annoying. I have to go back to Wrocław now. Number 43. Almost the there. The first ever bulletproof vest was invented Polish. by a Polish inventor, Jan Sipanik, in 1901. Number 44. Not many know that Poland boasts the world's largest castle measured by land area. The castle of the Teutonic Order in Malbork covers over 143,591 square meters. And that's a wrap. Isn't it actually the largest brick castle? That may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I've seen in, in comments on other videos that it's the largest brick castle, I think. Well, there you have it. There was 44 sort of facts. They weren't necessarily all facts. They were, some of them were more opinions than facts. But I'd like to think actually, yes, there was the, the odd one or two that I didn't necessarily know before, but a lot of them I've, 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 I've learned about and and I've explored and I've and I've seen like the dwarfs for example. Um, I've seen these things, which is just so cool to have been able to learn about things on on YouTube. Me reacting to them, to then me actually seeing them in person, and so I think I've done quite a good job. And there is still more to go. I want to watch some more Polish comedies, but obviously I need subtitles because I am not proficient in understanding Polish yet. Um, so if you've got any suggestions, obviously put it in the Discord server and link in the description below um, and put it in this just suggested page. If you want to do it, if you have any kind of videos that aren't subtitled and you want a subtitle for me in English, please do. I will greatly appreciate it and I'll love you forever. Make sure you go to Charlie and Rob on YouTube to check out our vlog channel. Um, we've got lots of, lots of vlogs from, from Poland. Krakow, Wrocław and Charlie went to Gdansk last year um, and we're just currently as this video is out is as released we're in Australia so um, we're going to have loads more vlogs from there as well thank you so much for watching I truly appreciate you papa